Hey guys, welcome back to the James Bond Show. It's Crazy Stevie Kajivi here with you. Guys, we've got no fears, no limits, and no substitutes. And today we're going to be talking about Trina Parks. Trina Parks played Thumper in 1971's Diamonds Are Forever. Trina um, is a member of Real James Bond Fans with Love. She's a lovely woman. Um, I'm friends with uh, Trina on Facebook, and I just want you all to know, and up front, and hi Trina, um, I contacted Trina personally, um, Trina's been in contact back with me, we've discussed this uh, video that I'm about to do, I told her I was going to do a video, of course it's based on the article where Trina has come out and defended Ian Fleming's 007 from not being made a woke female, and um, I agree with a lot of what Trina has said. I disagree with small parts of what Trina said and I've put that to Trina. So I always try to be upfront, honest, open and you know where people like it or not that's the way I am and that's the way I want the James Bond show to be as well. So thank you Trina uh, for having a conversation with me about it. So guys let's get into this. Okay so um, this was originally reported in the Daily Mail, um, but the link I'm going to put in below is from, I believe it's Bounding Into Comics, so I'm going to leave their link below. Why not give them a little bit of traffic and look them up as well. Okay, guys, so, first black girl slams casting of Lashana Lynch as next 007. Trina Parks, who starred alongside Sean Connery, as the dangerous villain Thumper in the 1971 Bond film Diamonds Are Forever says that a black woman starring as 007 just does not work. Ching ching, you're right on that one. Lashana is a great actress, Trina Parks goes on to say. So Lashana's a great actress, but I really don't agree with her becoming 007, Parks said. It is not about her colour, but just because Bond... The spy, code name 007, was written by Ian Fleming as a man. So a black James Bond, sure, I don't see why that could not be a move. But as a man, Miss Bond doesn't have the same ring to it. Now just on that, that's a section that, as I mentioned earlier at the top of this video, I put to Trina Parks that I don't quite agree with. The reason I don't agree with that is... I think that, kind of here, we can't have our cake and eat it. If you say that James Bond isn't a female, the 007 isn't a female, then, which I totally agree with, I think, not to say it's hypocritical, but I think it's a bit misguided then to say that, well, James Bond, uh, as a black man, sure, that could be a move that could work. I don't agree with that because, again, every film says, for example, the new one, will say Daniel Craig is Ian Fleming's James Bond 007. So you've got the 007 there, but you've got Ian Fleming's James Bond. If you put a black man, or a Mexican man, or a Chinese man, there's a couple of things that happen. And this is not racist. Like you guys know, my best friend is black. I love... I love all races. I hate racism. Racism is disgusting. Now, there is a big difference between having some jokes, unpolitical correct jokes, and a bit of laugh and brevity, and being a racist. And I will not tolerate racism in any forms when it's clearly about someone's skin color they're born with. Um, that is disgusting. I won't put up with that. But a little bit of fun about someone's fluffy eyebrows or whatever. I mean, come on. I pick on myself for being a baldy. I mean... What, am I going to be the next, you know, the first bold bond? I doubt it. And if I was cast to be the first bold bond, I'd, I'd be picking on myself. The jokes would be coming. So with this, Trina and guys out there, I don't agree with this about Bond, you know, being black as a move. Reason being, because that's what Ian Fleming's character is defined as. He's a white British imperialistic man. It would be like casting Macaulay Culkin as Shaft. <laughs> or Tom Tom Hanks's blade. You just wouldn't do it. It's a cultural thing. Now, also, James Bond has a background. Uh, his mother is Swiss, Monique Delacroix, and his father was a Scottish salesman. So that's his background. That background is right through the novels, and the novels started on publication in 1953. And the Daniel Craig era has also drilled that in as well, especially in Skyfall when we see his parents' grave and M talks to Bond about his parents. 
So he has to remain white. That's what Ian Fleming created. And when people turn around and say, oh, well, you know, Idris Elba or such and such, they're British. Yeah, and they're one generation away from the Congo or one generation, a tr great Chinese actor that could be British, one generation away, you know, his parents moved over to China when, before he was born or when he was a little kid. So you then completely eradicate the white British history of James Bond. If you have, imagine if Idris Elba was playing James Bond, all the history is gone. The Ian Fleming history is gone. The film history is gone. He's not James Bond. That can never be James Bond. It's like if you go and, you know, cast, I don't know, um, Ryan Gosling as Bruce Lee's character in Enter the Dragon and you're doing an Enter the Dragon remake and series. It's not going to work no matter how good his martial arts are. It's not the same thing. So, guys, let's continue here with the article. Okay, so... Trina Parks goes on to say, I think there are lots of movies already where you have a woman taking centre stage, defeating men, and I like that. Parks continued, but I don't feel the James Bond franchise has to go there. She's talking about going to a woman. They set a standard that has remained a classic film franchise with a man as Bond, and that is how... I think it should stay. Now, of course, Trina Parks understands that they're not making Lashana Lynch James Bond. Now, of course, the producers could never make Lashana Lynch James Bond or any black actress James Bond. So, again, this has been done by stealth. Okay, we, we know we can't make her Jane Bond. That's ridiculous. It won't work within timeline or structure or anything. But if we give her the 007 number, we keep this little loud minority that aren't going to pay for tickets anyway. We keep them happy, and then we're going to keep the real Bond fans happy. But that hasn't happened. It's torn the real Bond fans apart, because James Bond is 007. 007 is James Bond. It's like Bridget Jones. You're going to bring a Bridget Jones film out and take her diary away? You're going to bring an Indiana Jones film out and take his, take his whip and his hat and his jacket away and give them to Marion? It ain't going to work. What about a Robin Hood film? But he's not allowed to use a bow and arrow or a sword or anything through the whole film. And you give that to Mar not Maid Marian. It just wouldn't work. These are tropes. These are signatures that help define these characters. And on all the posters from Dr. No in 1962 right up to Spectre 2015, James Bond 007. The 007 has been used and pumped and advertised. I've got t-shirts. It's got the James Bond logo. 007. How many times has Q said, oh, grow up 007? How many times has M said, 007, what do you think you're doing? It's synonymous, synonymous with James Bond. You can't take the 007 away. And people going, oh, it's just a plot device. Well, you don't know that. The fact is, what we do know is she is, as images have shown, Lashana Lynch in M's office, Money Penny's office, she is playing a British secret agent, and she has been given the 007 prefix, regardless of him being retired. Do you really think that when they were doing think tank meetings, and they're like, yeah, okay, let's give Lashana Lynch black, black female to be 007, you don't think that they knew there was going to be massive controversy with this and that they were doing this to go, well, you know, it's going to show female empowerment and look, we can be brave and we can do this. All it is is getting on the bandwagon of Ghostbusters, of Star Trek, of Star Wars, and it's taking away and it's helping to emancipate and dissipate an iconic male hero and crowbar it with gender politics and hand it to women. And as Trina even goes on to say here, you know, women love James Bond. Women love James Bond. Women want a male James Bond. So many women I've seen, like, comments, 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 going, oh, this is a joke, and here's the death to the series. So it's not a good move. Okay, so the Bond franchise has gone out of the box with black actors and women of colour more than any other franchise. Parks told the Daily Mail. So, guys, this is not just fanboys. This is not just fanboys getting upset, you know, and they've 
dropped their meat pie and spilt their beer and they're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. This is a case of Eon have got the baby and they're starting to drown it in the bathwater. So guys, that's what I've got for you today. Hope you liked the video. Please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends and remember, tap the bell for notifications. But more than anything, what do you guys think of Trina Park's views here? Do you agree with her? Do you disagree with her? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Put your opinions down and things and we want to hear them. And we'll be back really soon, guys. And remember, until next time, keep on bonding.